Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Ah, oh, man, we back again. Myra, I know Myra, man. Myra went off last night. Some of y'all might be a little, still be a little tired from last night. Myra went off. This is his sister named Myra, uh, Doc, and in terms of spirituality, she ain't, she's like, they call her the Oracle. She's wow. powerful, real powerful, real powerful. Listen, family, um, I got a new guest today. His first time on the platform. Um, I heard about the brother a while ago. Um, never really got a chance to get into his stuff. And I got reintroduced to his stuff recently. And when I tell you it's off the charts, family, it's high frequency. It's God frequency talk. Straight God frequency talk, family. So we're going to have an amazing show tonight. I want to welcome to the platform, Dr. B. Serious. Welcome, my brother. Good to be here, brother. Good to see you. Good to be live. Good to be with you in this space, in this place, in this time, in this place of no time. In the now time. In the now time. To right. now. <laughs> hey, hey, family, let, let me get to a, um, a few commercials, and we're going to be right back, family. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you tell your friends and family what's going down. These are so y'all sleeping on what's going on. Don't y'all see how I'm moving this year? Y'all see how I'm moving spiritually this year. There's a reason for that. Family, don't sleep on what's going on. Don't sleep on this time. This is some important times we are in, family. So with that being said, let me get to a few ads and we'll be right back, all right? Hey there. Had a bad dream? I have dreams too. Some parts are scary and some parts are fun. Always remind yourself, it's only a dream and everything will be okay. I had a dream about being in a forest too. Check it out, my pet Petey was with me. Order your copy of Kayla Petey and the Forest on Amazon today. Hey, this is King Simon, the international numero beta. Remember, get all my books on Amazon or go to Linktree forward slash King Simon, the numero beta. And remember, don't forget to book my sessions at 347-496-1022. Book now. All right, all right. So, family, <clears throat> so let me tell you this. So, I don't get, um, I don't get impressed easily when it comes to the spiritual information because i've been around the greatest y'all see me y'all see me interview dr delbert blay in 2007 and we had one of the greatest interviews ever with returning to black cosmic forces i have been around all the greats so i'm not impressed with people come along and they're like hey i could read this or i could do that i have been around the best of them when i heard this brother I was impressed. The same way when I heard Yaki, when I heard the brother Yaki awaken this shit, I was like, oh shit, I got to reach out to him. This brother right here, family, this dude ain't no joke. So I'm glad to have this brother on. I was impressed by this brother's information and I don't get impressed easily with spiritual information. So brother, listen, you've been really spreading a word about what's going on right now, about um, this photon, this energy photon belt that the solar system is moving in and how that makes the time that we are in now super duper powerful. You combine that with the serious gateway and we got some shit happening right now, brother. Talk to us just for an introduction and, and, and let the people get acquainted about what exactly is going on. Cause they might think we over exaggerating my brother. Well, what's going on right now is a, uh, an opportunity of a lifetime. Mm. And since we have been on the planet. There probably hasn't been any event helping us this way. This is something that can actually give us the momentum and the speed and the, the fuel that we need to actually get somewhere instead of, you know, see, nature follows the path of least resistance. Mm -hmm. Nature follows the path of least resistance. If you go with nature, right, just follow nature, your path will be easy. But, you know, some of the training that we have had has had us going against nature. You know, we're, mm -hmm. we're trying to go, you know, water don't go uphill. It goes downhill. So the system has been set up in such a way where it's a uh, obstacle course for the great ones. We have been in an obstacle course. And this obstacle course is something that we created. We created the obstacle course. Now we say, oh, no, no, I didn't, I didn't create this thing. Well, you didn't from this mindset and from this solid body. 
but we're part of a cosmic orchestra, also known as an orchestra, mm. an arc, mm -hmm. like the arc of the covenant. See, energy arcs through the universe. Mm. It arcs. An arc is a portion of a spiral. Okay? Like the McDonald's arc, like that? That's like a portion okay. of a spiral. Now, that's a little, yes. you know, they twisted it a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, energy is moving through spirals on spiral waves, electromagnetically, and there's different types of energy just besides, you know, electromagnetism, but we'll just deal with that for now. Mm -hmm. We are travelers. Our planet is traveling, we're traveling, our sun is traveling, mm -hmm. and we're moving through this fluidic space. Fluidic space, which is part of what they call dark matter, and the 99% of the galaxy is dark. Mm -hmm. It's in darkened. It's black, what they call space, and it's not just space. There's information in that darkness. In fact, there's most information is in darkness. But light carries another type of information. So our sun, which is the old name for our sun, is Solaris. Solaris. Our sun, it sends us energy, electricity, waves. It creates a part of the atmosphere by giving us the information that we turn into life force. So we are basically photovoltaic. So we turn light into energy. Light hits the melanin. The melanin converts it into vitamin D and a whole, well, actually it's hormone D and a whole lot of other things that you know create and animate this particular space that we're in. Mm -hmm. So our sun is spiraling around Sirius. Sirius is our sun's mother. That is our spiritual sun. If you look at ancient pictures, you'll see two suns in the sky. One bigger one, one smaller one. The smaller one is Sirius. You see, only because it's further away. It's actually much bigger than our sun. Now, the sun is giving us these cosmic waves, but Sirius is giving our sun its energy. Its mm. energy, its source energy is coming from Sirius. Mm -hmm. So our sun is spiraling around Sirius. Our earth is spiraling around the sun. We are involved in a great spiral of music, of sound, an orchestra of waves, you see? And this whole thing is a giant spiral. You know, people tell me all the time, they say, well, Dr. B, you know, I'm spiritual. I said, well, everybody is actually, you know, you can't not be. Your, your, your veins are spirals, right? Your nervous system is spirals. And your flesh is crystals. We're crystalline beings. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how they know, you know, when there was a fire, they can tell what race the person was based on how the blood crystallizes in heat. Mm. You know, the perfect, what they call, you know, a uh, pyramid is they know that was a black person that was in that fire, even though they're burnt to an ash. There's little, there's little pyramids in there. But we're picking up this information. And this information is encoding our DNA. So your DNA, which is basically chromosomes, chroma means light, zones are bodies, they're light bodies, they're picking up information from the environment. Now we got we to gotta key in here on this piece. Mm -hmm. We've been told that our DNA determines our life. Like we talk about all these things that run in the family, you know what I'm saying? It runs in the family. But when did it start running? And <laughs> why is it running so fast? You know what I'm saying? It's fast, it's getting faster. What is the running in the family? That's an idea that somebody gave you because they didn't understand how things work on a cosmic, in a super cosmic or ultra cosmic or even a quantum level. Your chromosomes are picking up information from the environment. Your genes are not determining your life. They may determine your hair color. The way you walk, the way you talk, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of things are based on habit. It's just the way your family ate and the way they live. So you end up with the same situation because you walk in the same walk that they're walking. Instead of being totally, uh, you know, imp improvising and breaking out of that family, you know, that railroad track that you were on. 
So the sun <clears throat> and the stars, the light of the sun and the stars is programming your chromosomes based on your life. The genes are genies. You know the story of the genies, right? You see the genie is always on a magic carpet or she's on a magic carpet. The magic carpet is your genes. If you look at them, it's the, it's the carpet. The wave of the carpet is basically how you see your genes. You know, two spirals, the double helix. But even though the, 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 the genie wave is only on one of the helixes, it's on one side of the spiral. That's where you get to choose. 99% of your genes are doing nothing. They're called, they call them junk DNA. You know, actually, you know, they're kind of fudging it now and they're saying, okay, maybe 90%. All right. So let's say 90% of your genes are basically setting up your life. We now know as scientists that 90% of your life is based on the environment. What light is hitting your body, the type of light, right? What you're putting in your body, what you're eating, which you turn into light, right? Everything is light. Everything is made of light. Everything on a periodic table is measured in light, in light waves and frequencies. What you're saying is turning into light. So what you think, what you say, and what you do creates your life. You are telling the genies on the magic carpet, ka, pet, you see, this has got to do with what your spirit rides on. Huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your spirit, not your soul, but your spirit that's different from, from my teachings. Mm -hmm. And the genie, when you rub the bottle, which is your body, the genie, what well, the top pops off and a vapor, a mystical vapor comes out. And the genie appears and says, what do you desire? It doesn't, in the original text, it didn't say, what are your three wishes? See, a wish is a whoosh. That's just blowing away. People that will keep wishing and wishing, nothing happens because that's just whoosh, wind blowing away. But a desire is at least pointing towards a goal. Language is extremely important. And most of the language that we speak is junk. It's just junk. We don't even know what it means. We use words that have no power. But the words that you speak, the thoughts that you think, that you think, the foods that you eat are creating an environment inside of you. If these things that you're eating are for life, giving life, then you're saying, hey, I, I like living. You see, I'm feeding myself the best way. I'm talking. I'm, I'm looking at the good things in life instead of looking at the problems all day. We're looking at solutions. I'm working on thriving instead of striving. You see, instead of the struggle, you know, this whole thing with the struggle, the struggle continues. Well, you're telling your genies that and what your genes do, your genies are giving you more of what you funking for. I used to work with George Clinton, so you know mm -hmm. <laughs> you might hear some okay. references. All right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You are instructing yourself by your ways, by your actions, what you desire more of. So if you're mad all the time, right? I don't care if you're a vegan or raw foodist and, or you're an airitarian, what they call them, breathitarians, but you're angry and you're always talking about the enemy. You're always talking about what they're doing. You're basically a victim at this point. So you, you're sending that message to your genes to create more genes and cells based on victimhood. You see, based on the struggle, based on trying to survive. I'm just trying to make it, man. Man, I'm between a rock and a hard place. What the hell is that? Wait, we don't even know what that don't even make any sense. But we speak it because that's what runs in the family, that talk, that walk, that way of living. When you realize that you are the CEO. You're the captain of your vessel. And whenever you speak, whenever you eat, whenever you act, you're talking to the crew. You're telling the crew, now hear this. Now hear this. This is the captain speaking. See, you speak in that voice. Everybody on the, everybody on the ship is what? At attention. Mm -hmm. But we have kind of got into this rhythm of talking like, oh, hey, crew, what's happening? Um, We got problems. You know what I'm saying? You, you heard the news today. And, you know, I... I don't know what we going I don't know if we going to make it. You heard we's in a recession. You've been in a recession since you got here. So go play. <laughs> when they say recession, it's time to play. But you have to have your mindset right on something you truly desire and you tell your genes how to unfold based on what you are doing, who you are being. That's every day. 
We've always had that power. You know, even, you know, the, the medical system didn't want you to know this because then you might be able to heal yourself. They want you to, you know, to depend on whatever they're giving you, right? And that's okay. They're doing their best in an emergency medicine. They got it. But in each day, it's up to you to send a message for you to play the rhythm. You know, I'm a drummer. I'm a musician. So it's about you playing the rhythm, right? Instead of listening to everybody else's rhythm and minding the business that's not yours. We're in a real special time. Because every year, between the 3rd and the 9th of July, this is every year, Sirius, our sun, the earth, and our inner sun called the solar plexus are in perfect alignment. It's the time of becoming independently wealthy, healthy, and wise, if you choose that. That's what's in your mindset. Independence. But you got to become sovereign. What is sovereign? Sovereign is when your soul is yours. You can't sell it. I mean, you have this thing about you can sell your soul. You can't sell your soul. It's connected to the sun. It's connected to the solar energy because we're solo. We're so, we're solar beings. We're you know we're, we're we're photovoltaic beings. You see, we create light. We create electricity. There's bio photons that we're creating every day in every second. Every plant, every animal, everything is creating these these light beings. You see, these this living light. So the sun is smashing this energy down on us, delivering this wonderful energy that we use each day. huh? Then on the ninth, between the third and the ninth, because Sirius is in alignment with the sun, Sirius's energy superimposes our sun. What are they saying right now? The sun has got more solar flares than they ever seen. They call them the fireworks. Huh? Mm. It's, 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 on, it's on a whole nother level. That energy, so we have the sun combined with Sirius hitting the earth, Mother Earth, Gaia, ethos. And it changes the energy of everything on the planet every year. It's a shift, a major shift. Happens whether you know it or not, whether you're meditating or not, whether you're eating pork chops or out crazy, you're getting this energy. And that energy that the earth is vibrating at Go straight to your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is the largest bundle of nerves in your body. It's in your gut. That's where you get your gut feeling, your gut instinct. huh? And the solar plexus is glowing. It's actually alive. You see, it, 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 it is putting out light and taking in light. Your nervous system is based on light. Your nervous system is basically light emitting diodes sending pulse waves huh, every second of every day through your system animating you with your earth suit. So between the third and the ninth, you wake totally up and that you become an open vessel for what it is you desire. What would you like for the rest of the year or for the rest of the vibration? However, you're acting at this particular time, right? Causes what? Fireworks in your gut. Because your solar plexus glows like no other time of the year. You, you mm. feel me? Mm -hmm. At this particular time, because you're receiving this compound energy, this complex waves of energy from the combination of the sun, Sirius, the earth, and you. This is every year. And you know, right on the 3rd of July, between the 3rd and the 9th, Sirius sits right on top of the Washington Monument. They set this up. They know about this. This is how they run the system. They're using your, your technology. You taught it to them. We taught it to them. They're tied into the stars. You see, that's why they got stars on the flag. What's all these stars? What's the stars got to do it? Then they sing the song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, How I Wonder What You Are, Up Above the Sky So High. This, they're talking about Sirius, mm. which blinks. Red, white, and blue, by the way. Mm -hmm. When you connect with it, it blinks red, white, and blue. When you totally connect with it, it blinks red, white, and blue. Now, at first, it just kind of like looks like maybe a little red, a little white. But if you keep watching it, it's red, white, and blue. This is where they got the flag colors. They built this whole thing based on you. You see? So 
Now, whatever you're doing at that particular time, this particular time period, you're saying, I want more of it because the genes are receiving more light, more information than they have gotten throughout the whole year. The sun is high in the northern hemisphere. You see, so the northern hemisphere is on light and on, on high. This is this is what you see. They talk about the northern lights. The northern lights, they're just not in the north in the sky. They're in you because whatever's happening in the galaxy is also happening in you. As above, so below. You see? So this time period is important every year. This is why folks is out barbecuing and shooting fireworks. The fireworks is your gut. The fireworks is what's happening in your gut. And I'm going to give you another piece. Between the 3rd and the 9th of July, the friendly bacteria in your gut, they recharge. Mm. Because the friendly bacteria in your gut is you. You got more friendly bacteria. There's more bacteria in these beings living in you that they call bacteria than anything else. You're mostly them. That's why you get a gut feeling because they're reading the environment. They'd like to survive. They'd like to thrive. So they're always sensing. They got certain friendly bacteria that do nothing but read the environment. They're connected to uh, the nervous system, you see? And they are actually sending impulses to the nerves about what's happening in the environment so you could, so you could thrive, mm -hmm. you see? So you have the sympathetic nervous system. It's pick up, picking up everything that's going on in, in, around you. Everything from the subtlest wind blowing to something, a sound 40 decibels away. Your nervous system, your sympathetic nervous system is picking that up through your hair, through your skin, through all your senses. There's a certain group of friendly bacteria that just listen. They send a pulse wave of information, like an envelope, to your sympathetic nervous system. Your sympathetic nervous system sympathizes with what's happening outside of you. But then there's another part of the nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system. It's like the wise man or the wise woman. It listens to all this stuff coming in and filters it and says, look, boy, that stuff that's going on on the news ain't important. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with you. Turn that television off, boy. Mm -hmm. You need to be focusing on you. What you going to do? Ain't nobody came. No wolf came to your door. So why are you out with a shotgun? When the wolf comes, you don't worry. You deal with it when it get here. But until then, you need to be what? Making yourself the best you can be. Shifting your energy. Working on yourself. No matter what they say. Because we got this whole thing about what they're doing to us. What they're going to do. What they plan to do. You know half this stuff don't work. They've been Since I've been on the planet, they've been talking about the end of the world is coming this year. <laughs> Every year is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> It's like my boy, he's always talking about, you know, his investments about to come in. I got this invest about to come in, man. I'm about to move it to, to Atlanta, wherever you at be. It's about, it's about to come in. I said, man, your boat been coming in forever. I can't wait on you. He's he trying to program his genies, man. Come on. I'm trying to tell his genies. See, your genies is high, man. What is your genies on? You got some of that new man-made weed, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You know, 99.9% .9 THC. This is mm. a drug. <laughs> You see, mm. you, you, you're not even high no more. You're low. Mm. When your sympathetic nervous system is working correctly, it will filter. And it will cause you to focus on your busyness. What's your business? What's your goal? The average person don't have a real goal. My clients come in, and I ask them, I say, well, what would you like? They might have cancer. They might be dealing with diabetes, or they could be going through a breakup or, you know, having depression. I said, well, what would you like? And they said, well, what do you mean? And they mentioned, check it out, all the things they wouldn't like. Well, I don't want to have cancer, and I don't want to have a, a bad knee, and I don't want to have to move out of my house, and I don't want my wife to leave me. I said, well, what would you like? I told you what I would like. No, you didn't. You told me what you don't like. Why are you even bringing that into your mouth? Because your mouth is telling the genies what you desire. You're mm. telling the genies that you want more of something. No, I said I don't. Don't is do not. It's both. Why say that? Why mention what you do not or don't and in no way desire? Mention what you desire. Say, I'd like to be on the beach in six months, on a nude beach somewhere, laying out naked, taking in the sun, drinking coconut water. Say that. Say that like you're the captain of the boat. Don't tell all the crew 
right? Your friendly bacteria, all your cells, or, you know, all the parts of your body that we're not doing too well by mentioning the badness, mentioning the problem. And we've been taught a language where we just sit around and talk about the problems all day. W what's that? That's a program within itself. Who created that? Mm -hmm. You got out with the devil. I'm talking about the devil within. Huh? So what happens here is you have to focus on a goal. When you focus on that goal, you're telling your parasympathetic nervous system to filter everything else out. Now, how do you how do you work on your parasympathetic nervous system? Well, you know, breathing, certain activities, things that you eat. But basically, each day you have to reinforce where you're going. What where what is your goal? Now, here's what happens: the friendly bacteria in your gut are listening carefully, also. They take certain frequencies of light from your skin, from your eyes, through your pupil, your pupa, through your eye, because you're a pupil at this point, right? And you are the student of the cosmos. You're an orchestra. You're an instrument. You're a part of it. When you have your goal strong, you become gold-minded, gold-minded. When you're gold-minded, huh? You are on a spiral, what they call the golden mean, spiraling through the universe. But what, Dr. B, what, so what you trying to say? Uh, uh, just listen carefully. Follow me now. When you have your goal, the energy of the sun, especially between the third and the ninth, superimposes your idea and your idea deals based on your actions what you're eating what you're saying what you're doing it is what intensified because that energy goes to the solar plexus and that solar plexus right heats up the gut heats up and it sends information it becomes a furnace what they call the triple burner and that begins to fuel your ship you're a spaceship yeah, you're a traveler. Uh, you know, you might have thought you was a prisoner. You know, you lived in a system that was based on lies. That's the problem, see? We live in a system that's based on lies and myths and allegory and fairy tales. And you chasing your own fairy tales, you see? And you believe some of this stuff because this is what you've been programmed through what? Hypnotic rhythm over and over. Repetition. It's like a rhythm. You keep hearing the same rhythm, the same talk, talking the same talk. Between the third and the ninth, everything on the planet shifts. So right now, it's still shifting. Now, we happen to have this, we'd be doing this show right now for a very special reason, because we are in the crest of the wave. There's a wave of energy that's going to go, and it reaches the, the highest crest, because a wave creates a wave, creates, creates, it's multiple waves, what they call poly waves, on August the 9th. Now, you know, you, they keep talking about Lionsgate, you know, oh boy, it's August the 8th. You know, you always get this information and be a little off, you know what I'm saying? So you'd be out there on August the 8th trying to do this whole thing. You got your singing bowl and your, your incense and all that. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? The real sense is in you. You see, it's, you have to have a sensibility about yourself to know that the 9 is a completion. 8 ain't no completion. That's not it. You got to get to nine. So it's August the 9th. So what they call the Lion's Gate is this time, right? And they, they, you're going to find differing information. But the Lion's Gate really starts on the third, reaches a, the first wave, the first high crest is on the 9th of July. Then it creates a, a stargate, this high velocity energy right into August. That's when you get your raw. That's when you get your roar. Yes, I got it. Because you've reprogrammed all your cells with your new desires throughout the summer. Sumer, summer. Huh? That's a lot of information in there. You know, some of that, some of those first writings were in the Sumerian tablets, the cuneiform, symbols. You're sending symbols to yourself about what you desire based on how you act. Here's what's deep about this. Baba Dick Gregory. We worked together since 1986, no, 1996. You know, I became one of his herbalists and he became one of my teachers. And we never talked about anything. We didn't talk about civil rights ever. 
we only talked about metaphysics, quantum physics, healing, and we talked about, you know, how to create something out of nothing and do alchemy. That's all we ever talked about. He told me before he left the planet, he said, Dr. B, you got to be ready because in 2019, things is going to hit the fan. In 2022, you got to be ready because everything on the planet is going to shift. And I blew my mind when 2019 hit and things got, you know, it was all different all of a sudden on the planet, you know. Then we begin to look at the quantum uh, or the what they call the sidereal day, which is the 26,000 year calendar. Now, some will call it a 24,000 year calendar. Some will call it a 26,000 year calendar because there's no exacts in nature. It, it, it waxes and wanes. It drifts. It expands and then it contracts this whole rhythm. But that is the most <clears throat> accurate calendar. The sidereal day, the star. Sidder means star. <clears throat> Even S-I means star. Like Sirius is a star. When you take something into consideration, you're saying, let me go. Check this out. Let me go and take it under the stars because the stars are going to give you the answer because you're made of stardust. So don't, you know, you know, we like to answer quick. I need, you know, I need an answer right now. Well, if you need an answer right now, I can't give it to you because I got to take it into consideration mm -hmm. because I don't know enough. I need to get the ancestors, right, and every other type of energy out there to talk to me so I can make the right choice, not a decision, but I'm going to make a choice. I'm not mm -hmm. going to close all the, all the options by making a decision. So you have to consider. So between the third and the ninth is called consideration time. This is a good time to be out at night. Sitting in the yard, letting the star energy hit you. Mm. On the 26,000 year calendar, mm -hmm. we go through these ages, these times, mm. right? So you got the golden age, the silver age, you got the bronze age, you got the iron age. And the newest one we had re recently was the rust age. <laughs> it was rusty. You see, and that's when, you know, we were the furthest from this point at the center of the universe. So it's like the, the universe is like a radio station. The center of the universe is sending this information, and the further you are away from the, 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 the universal radio station, for a lot of people, the information is not clear. So they're not receiving the proper instructions, you see? So prophets come along. You need prophets to kind of guide you because they know some people, they, they never lose it. They're connected. They got a special antenna, <laughs> right? So the prophets came along. At this time, we're out of the time where there's we need prophets because hmm. we're moving back towards the center of the galaxy one side of this calendar we were in the what they call the fall of man this is when we were falling away from the center of the galaxy we're now traveling back towards the center we're picking up new information we're changing we're mutating you see so what happens every thirteen thousand years there's an area on the 13,000 year cal or the flip, get, forgive me, on the 26,000 year calendar, every 13,000 years, we go through a cloud called the photon band or the photon belt. Look up belt, belt better than band because they got a band called the photon band and it's kind right. of wild. <laughs> but go for belt. It's a belt of energy or cloud of energy made of bio photons. It's a concentrated life source, life source of these little light creatures. They dancing around, they play and everything. Some of y'all have seen them because you can look out inside sometimes at a light, at a wall and just see these little things dancing around. Mm. Those are bio photons, living light creatures. Mm. They have the intelligence of everything. That's where you you get the akasha and all that, the knowledge of everything. You know, all times, all spaces happening at once. When our solar system goes through the photon band, everything in the solar system goes through a quantum shift. It changes the very substructure of everything because you have concentrated information being immersed into all the subatomic particles that make up the solar system. We are literally going through 
a cloud of information. So it's we're always getting information, but this is high velocity, concentrated information. Remember I said earlier that we are really only using about 10% of our DNA? Mm -hmm. Well, when we go through this cloud, there's a whole part of your DNA that turns on. It wakes up. See, the scientists couldn't see no movement. They couldn't see no action. You know what I'm saying? In the part, that's why they call most of your DNA junk DNA. Like mm -hmm. they say, they, you know, men only use 5% of their brain. First of all, they was only talking about men, and they was only talking about those men. <laughs> it's only a few men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that wasn't all the people. Because women use a lot more. I mean, brothers, we know. She's using a whole lot more than 10% of her brain or 5% or whatever they're saying because she's working on both sides of the brain at the same time. That's how she can create a child based on taking light. She's got to concentrate light into her womb, which is a dark place, which is called the cave. You see, we'll get to that in a second. This light begins to program and turn on the latent DNA. Now, the DNA is also known as the books. So as we move through the photon band, your books, the information available to you, it multiplies. I mean, millions of times. And the mm. DNA in the labs right now is starting to glow. And they're saying, whoa, 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 wait a minute. This is deep. What's happening? People are having more capacity to do whatever. I'm not just saying, you know, you know, you, you get this if you're meditating and you got a singing bowl and a crystal. No, this is happening to everybody. Mm -hmm. So some people, they lose it. It's too much. Their nervous system is not used to this type of energy. They, they, this, people are snapping. People are taking themselves out, taking out a whole bunch of other people. The planet itself begins to strike more lightning at this particular time because it's being enlightened. The Ionosphere is on fire right now. That's why mm. it's so hot. Have you noticed this? Cows yes. dropping dead, fish just you know coming to the top of the ocean cooked. You ain't even gotta fry the fish no more. They already fried. You know <laughs> Throw a little cornmeal on them. You know, <laughs> yeah, I got some fried fish. I didn't even have to fish, they just came to the top of the water. It's a sign <laughs> in the times. Birds dropping out the sky. Remember, they told you the bees was gone. The yeah. bees is gone. Have you been outside? There's so many bees out there right now. It's crazy. Bees everywhere. Well, what happened? To, I thought the bees were gone. That's because you keep listening to the news, the six o'clock news, the six o'clock news, because they're going to hang you just because they didn't see the bees. The bees leave and go someplace and come back at a certain time on that 26,000 year calendar. Things are shifting. We entered the photon band or the photon belt in 1996. Go back to 1996, y'all. What was happening in 1996? It's so much stuff happening in 1996. It's crazy. That's when I had a whole experience and changed. My whole life changed in September, right? 1996. September. Which means seven, by the way. Sept means seven. We'll get into that at another time. We have to have another show about that. About how the months are not the months and the days are not the days that you think they are. This thing was all twisted because it's an obstacle course. Don't blame had, anybody. It's yeah, they, yeah. They had the Atlanta Olympics in '96. The bombing was in Atlanta. Ain't that I something? Remember. Yeah. You see, in Atlanta, and Atlanta is a very special place. It's the only city uh, east of the Rocky Mountains that is, that's a thousand feet above sea level. It's a huge plateau with a with a with a rainforest on top of it. And mm. all around Atlanta, you know, you got mounds. Mm. This thing is very deep. They just found the Mayan city. If you just type in Mayan City, Atlanta, they found a whole Mayan city north of Atlanta. They said the Mayans was only down there in Central America. Who said that? Why are they always trying to put you in one location? So they play with your mind. Mm. You see, because somebody is creating what? They're cre creating slaves. Most of your mindset is based on slavery. Even the thing about we from Africa, I'm, I don't agree with that. We from everywhere. We, how you know? You just got here. You're going to tell me where I'm from. Oh, I was at the beginning of the Nile River. And we <laughs> found Lucy. You know, she was small and had a monkey-like brain. That was a monkey. 
she's the first woman. That's her. And did they dig in your backyard? So this whole thing is about misinformation. Misinformation about who you are, what is healthy, what is not, what is good, what is bad, what's black, what's white. So you get in these things in your head and through hypnotic rhythm, you begin to believe it. So you become like a slave. The question is, are you ready to break free? Because this is the time of liberation. Everything that's been happening lately is a sign to let you know it's the gate is the gate is open. The stargate is open. But if you feel that the gate is still there stopping you, guess what? It stops you. So let's go back to the photon belt. When we go through the photon belt every 13,000 years, the beings on the planet, the people become telepathic. And you begin to know without learning. A genius is one who knows without learning. There's a whole lot of things you know that you didn't learn. If you could get that other stuff out of your head. If you could open yourself up and allow is the key word. Huh? If you could allow the information that's in you already to unfold, it will happen. Whenever we go through the photon band, which we <coughs> entered in 1996, everything on the planet changes. You wake up. They know now that this was the time, or after that, after we went through the photon band, this is, was the time when you know people built pyramids, levitated the stones. There weren't no slaves out there put, lifting no 10,000-pound stones. How did they get them stones from the ocean? How did they get limestones from the bottom of the ocean? Slaves did that, too. They got some special rope. You know, you got it. This, a lot of this stuff is just, it's wild, man. Once you can get out and look at it from the outside, realize that, you know, there's a group of beings that would like to control you, but you have to, what? You got to sign. They ask you to please sign here. Please hmm. sign here. Please agree with this. Mm -hmm. You see? So the photon belt is whipping you with new information where you could recreate your life right now. But we got two things happening. Not only are we deep in the photon band in 2022, we're also at the Lion's Gate, at the serious alignment. So it's two things happening in conjunction. That means that everything you do or say is a you sending a command to your new DNA, your new books. It's like you got a brand new house. You know, let's say you go to sleep one night, you know, you live in a one room spot, you know, you got a kitchen and a bathroom all in one room. You know, it's a little studio, you're just barely making it. And you wake up tomorrow and this is a 28 room mansion. Mm. At first, you're kind of startled. Man, what am I going to do? I don't even know what to put in all these rooms. You see, because you aren't used to this type of capacity. We're used to thinking that we were broke. Poor, broke, lonely slaves. Not realizing that why would somebody spend trillions of dollars to keep the poor poor? Why would they do that? Trillions. You know how much money they spend to keep poor people poor? That's, mm. that's, some, that's some deep stuff right there. Because once the people wake up, they're going to walk off the farm. The black sheep always leave the farm. They might come back. Come back, hang out, you know what I'm saying? Smoke a little weed, eat a little grass, you know what I'm saying? Have a little, you know, sheep wine. But they leave because the black sheep can absorb more light. If it's black, it can absorb more light. If it's got more carbon, it can absorb more light. If it's got more melanin, it can, you know, make more light. Because all light comes from darkness. Actually, the sun is black, by the way. You know, if you ever see a picture, a true picture of the sun, it's black. Sirius is black. These are black stars. And you're just seeing the corona of them. You're seeing the energy, and it ain't fire. Because if it was fire, how could it burn if there's no oxygen in space? It's not fire. It's a plasma. Mm. Talk that's, to him, brother. That's Talk constantly to renewing itself. It's called a superconductor. A superconductor is a material that can give out all of its energy 
and lose none. A superconductor is a material or a thing or a device that can give away all of its energy <laughs> and lose none. We are made to be superconductors. First, you got to look at how you're conducting yourself. How you moving? How you acting? Then you got to realize that you could give away all of your energy and not lose any if you don't have fear. If you're courageous. You got to be focused. So you can give away. Yeah, you can have it. You know, people, you know, we get into this thing with competition. And this is a big thing, brother. You got competition on one side. You got creativity on the other. You know, so so I'm an artist. You know, I'm into music. So are you. You notice when the artist first comes out when they're new, they're really creative. Amazing. They, they are. Woo. They think of, oh, yeah. Man, you're a producer, man. You put them in the studio, man. They rap it, man. It's, the mu it's incredible. Yeah. Then they go do their first tour. And they get to hearing them people yell. Mm. And all the managers and all them folks blowing that smoke up their asses. Mm. People taking pictures and there's profile. And all of a sudden, you know, they go from 3,000 followers to 3.5 million followers overnight. People love them. Then they begin to look at other artists and what they're doing. And they begin to compete to stay on top. They begin to move away from creativity. Creativity, what is improvisation? The most powerful energy in the universe <laughs> is constant creativity it must never stop improvisation must never stop blue pill was just talking to me about improvisation and jazz, oh, man. And ja jazz music <laughs> man <laughs> all this you know i used to be in the band and we used to do top 40 i couldn't do it man so we gonna play the same song we gotta play prince's song every night we gotta play it, it don't sound like them anyway but the people are dancing. We got to do this every night. I said, well, you know, let's just play the record. Let the DJs play that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just the same thing over and over. I'm always bending the frequency. I'm bending the notes. I'm creating this energy, right? Because I'm going to give it all up tonight. I've got to give it all up. One day we'll talk about this, the song, Got to Give It Up. That's a whole other situation. Um. Once you give it all up and you know yourself, you know thyself, you will be replenished instantaneously. So people get in fear mode where they feel like they got to do, I got to give the people what they want. People don't know what they want. Thank you. You think, you Thank think you. the they people don't. know what they want? Thank you. I they say that. Thank know you. know what they want. They yeah. in a loop. They yeah. in a sound loop. Yeah. It's all a loop. The music is a loop. The news is a loop. The stories is a loop. The news. Yeah. People say, you watch the news lately? It's the same news. They change the name, you know, sponsors, you know, change the amount of money they putting in. If you took all the sponsors away, it wouldn't be no news. They ain't got nothing to say. Right? All the news is bad. It's getting worse and worse and worse. It's a loop. The commercials are a loop. It's a loop. It's a loop. So that is programming your DNA to be in a certain place where you can't break the bonds, right, of slavery. I'm talking about everybody. This is the same thing. People say, well, it's just black people. No, I'm trying to tell you. Everybody. Slave planet. But when you become a superconductor and you say, I can give it all away and recreate myself in a second. Go to bed at mm. night, mm. right? Rest for a couple hours and be renewed. You become a, a, a what they call a, 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 a um, an apostate. What did they say in Planet of the Apes? He says, only, an, only, a, only an apostate would go to the forbidden zone, and only a fool would give a gun to a human. What? Who forbid this zone? Somebody in charge said, this is the forbidden zone. Because if you go there, you're going to see some stuff you ain't supposed to see. You see? You, have you been to the forbidden zone? You have gone a month without eating? You've taken some type of substance and had an out-of-body experience and seen the universe? You've had an experience of missing time? And you begin to see that this whole thing is a construct that was created? 
So you got to be the black sheep who is an apostate who moves away from the crowd. An apostate will go to the forbidden zone, the place they say don't go. They start talking about who the devil was. I started looking at who the devil was. You know who the devil is? Basically a black woman. That's who they scared of. That's what they call boo. You better look up to what boo means. Boo. Boo. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Peekaboo. This is the black original. Huh? The black original origin. The oorah. The first note of music is oorah. It ain't do. Mm. You got this do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Where do you get the Latin dictionary out? Do means money. Do means money. The original musical scale didn't have money at the beginning of it. It wasn't about how much money you could make and how big of a star you was. It was about you doing what you love. You look at them old jazz musicians back in the day. Are they looking at the audience? Huh? Mahalia Jackson and all them folks. Are they looking at the audience? Are they worried about what the people think? Mm -mm. Huh? You listen to those songs, Love Supreme, and all those songs back in the day. Those people were not considered, you know, they, they were not considering the audience. They were considering their own light, their own solar plexus, their own friendly bacteria was creating something brand new and giving it all away every time they performed because they were superconductors. They were apostates. They weren't living in fear because once you live in fear for too long, you become inferior. And you worried about what somebody else is doing and who, who did what to you is fear. You know what they're doing. They're going to stop us. See, the government's listening. The government can't even hear them on themselves. What are you talking about? They're listening. <laughs> you better govern your mints. <laughs> govern your own mints. I, I tell people about putting peppermint under their tongue or take a mint leaf and put it under their tongue before they go to bed. Their whole life change. Everybody try it. Take one mint leaf, organic, or one growing in the yard that hasn't been sprayed. Put it in your mouth. Go to bed. You wake up in the morning, you'll be a brand new person. What that does, Doc? It sends an electrical impulse through your body because that taste, that energy that you feel that you call mint, right? It's sending a discharge of this, what they call a uh, 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 bioelectric energy through your body. And when you squeeze on it in your mouth, right? The crystals in the mint, huh? Are what they call uh, 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 photovoltaic. They, they, you squeeze them like a crystal. You, you, piezoelectricity is when you squeeze a crystal and it, 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 it enlightens. It, it lights up. You take a quartz crystal in a very dark room and if you have a vice like they use in the, in the, in the, in the, in the shop mm -hmm. and squeeze that thing, it'll begin to glow if the room is dark enough. Really deep bass notes, mm -hmm. right? Really deep bass will make the room glow. You could turn off all the lights in the studio. We've done it. And you get down to like about eight hertz, nine hertz, where you can't hear it, and the room is just moving and your clothes is moving. You actually you can see. So when you put the mint in your mouth, and there's a lot of plants you could do this with, but I'm saying mint because you can feel it quickly. And that taste is sending that energy through you. When you squeeze down on it, it sends information right up to your pineal gland. Mm. And your pineal is not calcified. I keep hearing this. I mean, where y'all get that from? They told you that too, just like they told you we all from Africa. You ain't even from the planet. <laughs> they got you all local. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm from Africa. You from everywhere. All this was Africa. <laughs> it was all what they call Asia Minor or Asia Major. You're Asiatic. Anyway, <laughs> where was I now? Oh, your pineal <laughs> is made of, 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 it's made of calcium. It's made of calcite, calcite strings. See, I go in the lab. See, I get the microscope out. When I was over at UCLA teaching, man, they had me in the lab. They thought I was a, I don't know what they thought I was, but I was, I was acting it out. Oh, really? Oh, that's great, huh? Can we put the light here? What happens when we put light on this particular <laughs> cell? Because <laughs> they thought doctor was doctor. And they called me and asked me to teach. Come, come please, Dr. B. I said, okay, let's go play. So I did that for four years. It's interesting. And what we found was that the pineal is made of calcite crystals. And it comes online under pressure. Think about this now. We don't like too much pressure. Man, they pressure me. It's always hard. It's rough out there. Because you want it easy. Pressure is what makes a diamond from coal. Mm -hmm. 
just the pressures in your life, how many winters you've been through is what's going to make you who you're going to be. Mm. You talk to the people that have had it easy. Everybody I know that is really successful, they got a story for you, man. Mm. You know how you be telling your hard luck story? Man, you know, such and such and blah, blah. And then but the other person can't wait till you're done with your story. Because they got one is worse than yours. Well, let me tell you what happened to me. See? But we go through this because we're on an obstacle course to become greater. We need pressure. So when you put pressure on the pineal gland, it emits something called penaline. Penaline. Most folks ain't even heard of it. What the heck is penaline? Penaline is black gold. Ooh. It's a biological black Ooh. gold. <laughs> and you make more of it in the dark. That's why folks Ooh. in prison. Being folks great. ain't folks ain't in prison because they did bad things. <laughs> you in prison so they could get your urine. First urine in the morning got black gold in it. The women on their menses, they need to save them pads, put them in a special container. Don't throw them away. Put them in this container. Because that blood has gold in it. Your blood is gold. Huh? It's black gold. It's a biological gold. And it drips down the chimney. They call it Santa oil. And that Santa oil, huh? What drips onto the colossus, the, the cloths. The oil drips onto Klaus, <laughs> who puts the gifts under the tree of life. Santa Claus, sacred brain. Wow. The whole Rudolph, Rudolph ain't no deer. Rudolph is a wolf. You probably think it's a deer on our Rudolph is a deer. Look up the name Rudolph. It says big wolf. They call Sirius the dog. Rudolph, in your Christmas story, is the star Sirius guiding you. Mm. Ah! Mm. That's why the other deers couldn't. They don't want you playing. You can't play with us. You eat us. He didn't want to play with him either. You think he was he was worried? His nose glows. That's the, the guiding light <clears throat> that guides Santa, the oil who lands and comes down the chimney, the space in between the two sides of your brain. Huh? Drips on what? The tree of life, which is your nervous system, which brings you your gifts based on what you put under your tree, what you put on your nervous system, what you put in your mind, what you put in your body, who you sleep with. Who you sleeping with? Man, you crazy. You better not go to Like, maybe you better go get some and leave. You better not go to sleep after some of this stuff you done did because you, you shut down in all kinds of entities and outities. Never mind the entities. You better worry about the outities. That's a whole, that's a whole other show, the outities. Who are the outities? <laughs> <clears throat> so <clears throat> come on, come what's on. happening right now? <clears throat> the pressure that happens between the third and the ninth begins to squeeze your head. Energy comes down through the top of the lens, but the top of your head is called the lens. Very thin bones up there. And sends this light. And the light also is coming in through your eyes. It's coming in through your skin. And there's more of it than any, any other time. So you begin to turn up the furnace, the hearth, the fireplace. At that particular time, you could do anything. But you have to know that you're an open vessel and allow. People say, well, Dr. B, what should we be doing? You need to be allowing. Wait, don't we need a ritual? <laughs> Not no old ones. They don't work. You're doing some rituals that's 10,000 years old that you saw on the side of a rock. And you think that's what those people were doing? Based on, a, it's like somebody land right now. We're all gone and they see cartoons, right? 10,000 years, we're gone. It's cartoons, and they think the aliens think, Oh my god, what were they into here? You know, who's this Mickey Mouse? <laughs> and Mickey Mouse is water, H2O. Mm -hmm. Disney said, I will be in everybody's house if you give me the job of creating all the war films and telling the story that need to be told in the news. This is what Disney did, and he said, I'll be in everybody's house. And he created Mickey Mouse, the two ears. 
is hydrogen. The round face is oxygen. It was liquid. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Does that sound happy? M-I-C. K-Y. M-O-U-S. You in a spell right now. This is a this is a death march. Like the birthday song that most people are singing. And like when you get when you graduate. Da, 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 da. Come on, man. Come on, Rich. Do the remix. You know that's a <laughs> you can't do nothing but a march. And you're getting married. Da, 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 da. Uh, this is a death march. Mm. What I'm saying is the music or the rhythm that we have been living, the energy, the language, everything that we've been into for the last at least 6,000 years has been a death march. It's been marching us to our death. And the beings that use the energy we're not using have become powerful. But they're losing power because we're actually changing and becoming superconductors. We're able to conduct our life. How are you conducting your life? What you doing? Tell me somebody's making you mad. Well, they're making me mad. Well, you're giving them that kind of power? You might say, well, you know, I allow myself to get angry based on what you're saying. <laughs> but you ain't making me mad. <clears throat> they broke my heart. I allow my heart to feel the pain of breakage because you left. You allow. Allow. That sends vibration through your entire body. So at this time, what should we be doing? We should be allowing ourselves, emptying out that stuff, detoxifying on every level, not just some little colon cleanse. You got to detoxify your mind, all of your energy. You got to let go. You got to let go. And don't ask me exactly what to do because we haven't been here before. But I can say you'd like your container to be clean. You'd like your mind, huh? your spirit, and your body to be as clean as possible because the energy that we're receiving now is going to change everything for the rest of our lives. Right now. Why do you think they try to scramble your brain so much? And you turn on the news, it's crazy, man. It's insane. But you see lightning keeps striking. You see yeah. what, what happened? What happened yesterday? What happened? The Georgia... Um... Guys, yeah. they tried to tell you that people drove up in a car and blew it up. They got filmed. They don't see nobody getting out of no car. You see lightning here, lightning, lightning, and yeah. you see the lights all around it, the street lights, right? And the security lights glow like crazy because the phosphorescence of that energy is hitting everything. That's lightning. People just walking down the street, lightning. Folks just having spontaneous combustion, laying in their bed, just blowing up. Boom. He was just laying there. Oh my God. He's burnt to a crisp in the bed, ain't. Yeah. So you don't know how much time you have, but you want to use your time and emit what you desire. What do you desire? First, figure out where would you like to go? Where would you like to be without the problems? You know, I was talking, I was on this radio show one day, and they were asking me all these problems about what they're doing and what they're doing and the conspiracies. And I said, what if. If we were to wake up tomorrow and our quote unquote enemy was gone, what would we do? Ain't no problems. You know, most people, we, they couldn't do it. They couldn't even live because their whole life is based on struggle and problems. Well, right now, you're waking up to a new body, whether you realize it or not. You have more capacity. So what you do is you go and when you go through your sleep cycle, what you call sleep arrest or rejuvenation actually is what it is. Put it on your pillow. What would you like? No, 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 no. Don't put no tooth under the pillow. Talking about a fairy going to come and leave you some money. You say, oh, that was just a fairy tale. Half the stuff you know is a fairy tale. Mm. People going to tell me what herbs do. You have no idea what most of these herbs do. And let me tell you something. Another thing. You know, me and Blue Pill is talking about this. Herbs don't do anything. They have the capacity to do something. Like your car. You get a brand new car, right? And you don't have the key. You, it, it's just going to drive by itself. Yoga. You think yoga does something. No, yoga doesn't do anything. Being raw. You know, eating raw. Use a vegan. You only eat one kernel of quinoa a week. I met this guy. He said he eats two pecans every other week. He was really tripping, too. I only eat two pecans. 
He couldn't walk. You know what I'm saying? He walked real slow. He was out of breath. So you might need to eat a little more. But guess what? None of that means anything anymore. Get rid of the titles. Because what works is you meeting the thing and joining with it. You have to know that the product works. So I'm drinking my focus right now, right? Mm -hmm. So I take this focus because it helps me stay focused. Because I'll be all over the place. People say, well, Dr. B, you act like you're smoking some weed when you be on. You know, if I smoke some of that, buddy, you won't be able to cut this channel down. <laughs> no, this is life. What the herbs, the foods are doing, the crystals, they're all potential. Just like this, this channel that we're on right now, it's potential. If Rich just leave all of a sudden and disappear and all we see is the beautiful flag back there, whatever he got, the whole universe, and he don't come back, it'll just be on. It's up to him to direct it because he is the commander. He's the captain. He is the generator. He is a superconductor. He makes something out of nothing. He's an alchemist. He doesn't know what's going to happen and what Dr. B is going to say. He just said, man, B, let's do this. And he, we started talking about music for the whole conversation. Music. We didn't even really talk about this. Too much. <laughs> music. Music. Because we connect. I found out he was a music producer. You was a music producer? That's what I do. That's what I've done since I was a child is make music. Yeah, I got platinum records, gold records, and all that kind of stuff. Don't mean nothing. People say, well, Dr. B, how many platinum records you got? You been to the awards? Yeah, I've been to the awards. You know what I'm saying? I've you know been Grammy nominated. It means nothing. It's just symbols. Use a vegan. It's a symbol. Mm -hmm. You're a vegetarian. It's a symbol. I'm a healer. It's a symbol. Tell the folks to mind. I'm a witch. It's a symbol. Which witch? Which do you choose? What do you work with? Gold, silver, platinum? That's what witch means. Which, which craft are you using? The craft we have to use right now is the craft of being open vessels to receive the new information without the cargo and the trash from the past. Mm. The minute you mention the past, you become passe and passive and what? You become what? A time traveler. Living in the past. They got you living in the past thinking you could change history. History never repeats itself. Never. You can't fix that. You can't, there's nothing you can do about it. But you can take the good stuff, right? Now, I'm not saying to forget it, but you can't be bringing it into the now time to now. Right now has never happened before. We have a beautiful opportunity, y'all. And I challenge you to get out of your head. Don't let it go to your head. Ain't that one of them songs from back in the day? Mm -hmm. Don't let it go to your head. Mm-hmm. Because your head is not where it's at. You too what? You too what? Intelligent. You too conscious. We done got super conscious. Mm -hmm. Man, I brother met a brother the other day. Man, this cat talked for an hour about the pyramids. Man, how they built them and every stone, every angle. This cat was out there. Me should see in his eyes, and he was he was inside the pyramid. I mean, you is the you are Tahuti and all the rest of them cats. He said, "Yes, I am." I said, "So." Uh, I'm about to leave. He said, man, can you give me a ride? So where you going? Man, I, I ain't got no car, man. They took my car, you know. They booted it, you know what I'm saying? I said, well, you, I thought you know how to build pyramids. Oh, I, I just know all about them. I, I don't really, I, in fact, I'm living with this girl, and, you know, she about to throw me out, so I'm trying to meet another girl. So I, I said, bro, where's your power? You, know, you got all this consciousness. Where's your heart? Where's your roar? Right. I ain't giving you no ride. I done gave you a ride by letting you talk. Now, don't never say none of that stuff again and go make something and be something. I'm not giving you no ride. I can't have you riding in the environment of my car, programming my DNA with that talk. Yeah. You don't know nothing about no pyramids. And the Egyptians didn't build them. They admitted it. What about the Nubians, huh? What about Lemuria, huh? What about us not even being from here, traveling as what? Mycelium. So it's a whole nother show right there. Come on, man. Come on. We are star travelers and we travel on the mycelium network. We can be anywhere at any time. But you got to open up. You got to get rid of that toxin, those toxins, it's not just your colon. Shit. You got parasites controlling your whole life. Not just a little, <clears throat> you know, not just a little hookworm or tapeworm. I'm talking about superbugs. We actually doing a part two next week. Yes, we heavy are. show. 
on uh, Parasites. Heavy, heavy show next week, family. Stay tuned for that. Heavy. Okay, we'll, be, we'll be on the other side of this wave, so I'll be a little calmer. But right now, I'm <laughs> on fire. I'm on fire because I've been quiet for years. They told me to be quiet. I've had 13 teachers, right? I've been yeah. fortunate enough to have 13 teachers. There go that I number. grew up. I grew up two miles away from a place where they made experimental aircraft. Where I'm from, which I will talk about all, all that in my book, is one of the deepest places in the United States. The stuff that's going on there, stuff in the sky, stuff in the water, it, all the experiments were going on right around me as I grew up. So I was always involved in stuff, but there was always these mystical people who would pop up in my life. Just, the, just when I'm about to go out with the homies and do some crime in the streets, so I get a phone call, I meet somebody. Brother, I need you to go with me for a minute. The next thing I know, we out in the woods looking at acorns and you know, looking at different grasses and things and, you know, taking bark off of trees and eating white willow. You see, it was always somebody there to guide me. Do you know everybody has this too? Everybody has these beings that come to them that guide them. It's just that most people are not tuned in and they're afraid. So I'm no different than anybody else. It's just that I am open and allowing. So at this time, I'm allowing the new Dr. B to come through. I couldn't do this show a month ago because mm. Baba Dick Gregory and Quake Wando and Chief Little Bear, my last big teachers, they told me to shut up. I still snuck a little stuff in every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know how we children are. <laughs> I got to say something. But the deep stuff I couldn't get into until it was time because it would cause spontaneous combustion in people. Sometimes it's too much. So let's make this simple. This time, find out how to be quiet. Ground. I know you know about grounding. Put your naked feet on the ground or get naked and lay on the ground even deeper. Or at least grab a tree. At least. You can't do it on a hardwood floor. Don't pass no electricity. It's dead. Can't do it on asphalt. It's dead. You can do it a little bit on concrete if that concrete is, is, is at least four inches in the soil. Ground. Put your naked hands in the soil so you can get all the vitamin-rich vitamin B. And get, the, get some dirt under your nails. Let go. If you need to scream and cuss, scream and cuss and let it all out. So we be trying to hold it all in. The men don't want to cry because they ain't supposed to cry and the women don't. You know, it's a whole control thing of what you're not supposed to do. This has got to be your vessel. So at this time, I would listen to music that is mind expanding. And the easiest way to do this is going to be to go to the late 60s and the 70s. Especially if you're listening to jazz. Because that music is improvisation. And being a superconductor means that you're going to give all your energy up so you can receive new energy. And when the new energy comes, you're going to improvise. You're going to get a little message. It's going to say, don't talk for three hours. Don't eat that fruit. You say, well, no, this is all. I'm at the store. I'm about to buy. These are all organic oranges. They all ain't organic. Just because it got a little nine on the tag, you know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. So, no, you better feel them oranges. Hold your, close your eyes. And one of them will be magnetized for you because it has what you need. Mm -hmm. You have to choose very carefully right now. By using your gut instinct, not this intelligence, because intel is information from the past. But what's happening now has never happened before. So intuition is happening right now. And as, as that information comes in through the right side of your head, that tone that you get, you have to be ready to respond. And sometimes you respond by saying and doing no one thing, no thing, the no thing. Hey. I want to um, ask you, uh, I want to demand, I mean, you, you dropping, brother. I mean, you dropping some powerful information and knowledge, brother. Um, yeah, you had to take a tea break. You had to drink a little tea, huh? <laughs> nah, buddy, I need some water now. Oh, uh, man, let me ask you. You just mentioned the, um, as you take your water break, you just mentioned uh, the gut, following your gut, the gut instinct. Um, you know, they say we have three brains, the gut, the brain up here, and the heart. 
What is more powerful, following your gut instinct or following your heart? Because some people, I'm, I'm a firm believer, I follow when, when, when I follow my heart, and that's how I navigate. Some people say follow your gut instinct. Some people say you got to use logic because that shit is emotional, and it'll lead you astray. So which brain are you following when you're trying to make the best decision in life? The heart, the gut, what? Logic, what? Combination. Come on, brother. You causing trouble now, see? Oh shit! Here we go. Come on. I like you, see, because you be causing trouble. <laughs> Sitting there quiet and gonna bust out this crazy stuff. You know what you're doing. I love it. Come it's on, beautiful. brother. Come on, brother. Your skin mm. is the largest brain. It's called the membrane. The memory brain. Everything from the environment is touching that skin. Mm. Your skin is a exact copy of your gut. Whew. An exact copy? Exact. Whatever's happening in your gut will show up in your skin. Whatever's happening on your skin will show up in your gut. So we can look at your face and your skin and tell when you walk in the room. Because, you know, I learned a lot through Ayurveda, you know, the, the Indian, you know, from India, that type of, of, of healing. When you walk in the room, we're looking at the way you walk in your profile, the way you're acting, the way you talk. Mm. Before we're reading your energy before you even get to it. So we already kind of know based on that energy, but your skin is like a map of your internal body. Mm. You see? And your skin is showing you what's happening in your gut. So your gut and your skin together, let's put them together. I would consider your first brain. But that one does not filter information. It just takes it all in. You can eat whatever you want. You can eat, eat hard candy, you know, pork chops. You know what I'm saying? Eat a little kale with your pork chops and think you're healthy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Using a little soy butter, you know, on your, on your wheat gluten bread. You know what I'm saying? It's be funny stuff going on because we feel like, you know, we're trying to do better. Eat healthier. Actually, some of it is taking us to hell. But your heart is more than a brain. Your heart, which, by the way, scientists can't figure out how it beats. They cannot figure. There's no machine on the planet that can do this. You know, your blood vessels, if you took them all in the end, they would wrap around the planet. Yes. yes. How is it that in a Within what? Less than a minute, your blood has circulated all the way around the world and back. What kind mm. of machine is that? It's a hell of a machine. Talking huh? about a damn uh, CERN, a, a particle collider. <laughs> it can't do that. <laughs> <coughs> Woo! Come on, Doc. Come on. It's a particle. Oh, God. CERN. You better be unconcerned about that. You got your own nuclear co collider in your heart. And you know your heart is making hormones? It's mm. sending messages. Your heart is more than just a brain. Your heart is a whole universe. So they work together. We like to divide these things. It's a system. Mm -hmm. Most logic is not even logical. Like the scientist is like, you know, if it happens three times, it's, it's, it's scientific. We can prove it. Like they tell you, you know, the doctor told me herbs don't work. This is when I was really sick and I was about to die because the music business, you know, I was eating everything, living, doing it all. And all of a sudden, 19, 1989, the doctor said I had a year to live. So I asked the doctor three questions. What do you do for a living? He said, I practice medicine. I said, man, I don't know about that practicing, bro. My brother's a mechanic. He better not practice on these people's cars. He better fix them. Mm -hmm. Or give them their money back. So give me another definition. He says, well, uh, we maintain illness. You into disease maintenance? Let's keep it, huh? No, 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 no. We, we, uh, we, uh, I said, do you cure anything? Well, we almost cured uh, a couple things, but, you know, it, uh, and he stuttered and fumbling. And I look at his white outfit and I said, man, this is a, this, you got on the same outfit as the butcher. You don't cure mm. nothing. You got fake dead sheepskins on the wall. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. You study You study a 56-year-old dead cadaver, a dead person, that's a dead white man. And you don't know how to... You can't cure anything. 
in an emergency, they can fix you now. Go, you know, go, don't go down there and try to put no cayenne on your arm that fell off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You better go let them sew that sucker back on. But put numbers on it to make sure because they might put the wrong arm on the wrong side, you know. <laughs> they might leave some tools inside of you. But basically, your body is a very special machine that they can't figure out. It's not logical how the heart beats. It's not logical how electricity works. It's not logical. Fire is not logical. Emotions are not logical. They don't make no sense. Why are you getting all upset? People be all upset. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Because emotion, right, is energy in motion. Energy in motion tends to stay in motion until acted on by an opposite or equal force. Emotion is just to let you let some stuff out. You're not supposed to hold emotion. You're supposed to snap. <clears throat> you try to hold it. You know, you did yoga so you don't curse. I don't curse. I speak very softly like the people in India. People in India, they will cuss your ass out. Some of them gurus, they will whoop your ass. You up there messing with them. You know what I'm saying? He's meditating. You ask him, sir, are you meditating? You see the man sitting there quiet. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You got to make this fun. If you don't make it fun, if you don't laugh, then you can't move the humors. There's seven fluids in the body, seven oceans. And when you laugh, you pump that, that stuff through your body and mm. you begin to push it out through the lymphatic system. You see, But when you get upset, you're supposed to push that energy out. So we kind of get rid of some of the logic and balance it with what? Consciousness. Mm -hmm. Being aware. Consciousness is not what you, everybody's conscious is. Oh, he's that's a real conscious brother because you know, or sister because they spoke a lot of deep stuff. Everybody's conscious of what of your ego because you're a vegan, you want to sit around and talk about people eating meat all day. Hmm. Some of them meat eaters got more going on than you, so leave them alone. Stop hmm. talking about people because what you're doing is you're creating, right? You're creating, uh, you're damming up. Your energy that flows from your head straight through your vagus nerve into the earth sends a pulse wave back out through the earth, back up through the core, right? Through the chimney, back out through the top of your head. Most people are God damned. They're damned if they do and damned if they don't because they got too much ego. They want to know something. Everybody wants to be able to blow your mind. I'm not trying to blow your mind. I am saying you need to open up your mind mm -hmm. and allow yourself to be a superconductor. The logic in your head is based on the science that they taught you. They don't understand electromagnetism. They got theories and theorems and all this kind of stuff. One of my teachers took a gold brick and put some, This I think it was granite. I'm not sure because he wouldn't tell me what it was. He put a, a stone on the ground, flat stone, and dropped the gold brick. And the gold brick did this. Then it floated. Then it dropped. Just like monoatomic gold. The real monoatomic gold is weightless. The real monoatomic platinum, iridium, the real deal, not the stuff that they're pulling out the ocean with acid. These monoatomic rare elements are in, in two dimensions at one time. You're existing in two dimensions at one time. When you become more centered and focused, huh? You begin to spiral like gold. Gold is a spiral. Gold is spinning in a special way. Not the heavy gold. There's another gold, which we'll talk about in our next show, too. Let me ask you this, uh, Doc. Oh, you wanted to continue or you want me to? No, you better leave. You better stop me here because you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Man. fire right. I'm on fire right now. Yeah, yeah, you definitely are on fire. I want to, uh, since we're talking about emotions and you use so many terms like, uh, you know, your environment programming, your DNA, uh, me and you, we had a conversation on the phone and we talked about Bruce Lipton, um, amazing research on the DNA and a couple of other gentlemen I listened to, uh, Joe Dispenza and, uh, Greg Braden got real good information dealing with DNA. And one of the things that they all talk about as far as the environment programming, the DNA is that they say that the environment programs the DNA, 
but the end product of your environment is your emotional reaction to it. So we could both have the same environment, but depending on our emotional reaction to that environment, we'll program our DNA completely different. Could you touch on that so the family can understand that concept? So your perception mm. is based on the way you, your file cabinet is packed. Mm. The way you react to things, what you think things are. So when mm -hmm. I was young, I would see things move through the room. Things come through the roof. And I'd see things in the woods or in the sky. Other people didn't see it. Some folks would tell me, you better go to church now. You got to get, there's a Bible quote. You better read this over and over because that's the devil. You know, what? You didn't even see it. How you know it was the devil? Half the stuff we read in the book sounds real mysterious to me. Folks walking on water, coming down in fiery chariots. This is some deep stuff y'all talking. Mm -hmm. But their perception of it, right? Their perception or the their uh the way they see it, mm. the way they've programmed themselves to accept it becomes normal through <laughs> hypnotic rhythm, through language. See, language is, is either your liberator or your lockdown. I'm gonna say it again: your language is your liberator or your lockdown. Powerful. What you call something is not what it is, that's the label. Mm. If you heard about something, that's called a what? A reference. If you were actually there, that's called a referent. Mm. Most of what you know is labels and references. Mm. Labels and references. Very few people have had an actual referent. When I speak, or when I'm making a formulation, or when I'm making music, it's based on my personal experience. I don't formulate herbs and products like anybody else on the planet. I, I, I'm, a, I'm an apostate. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to actually, it's not, olive leaf doesn't do what you say it does. It depends on where that olive, olive leaf it comes from, where it's at. You know, what, what kind of sunlight, what kind of soil? What, what kind of biochemistry was in the soil? What bacteria was in the soil? Everything is different. So once we begin to look at the essence of creativity and being a individual, an indivisible individual, mm -hmm. and you begin to look at what you think you know and get, get your ego out of it, because the ego and the pain body, when they get together, man, you got something here, bro. Mm. That, that's, that's hard to break, man. You know, man, I ain't going, it's dark out there, man. You going in the woods in the dark? Yeah, I'm going in the woods in the dark. I can actually feel and see better in the dark than I can in the light. Because this light is so bright that the, the sun has got such a good, such a big influence. I can't feel the stars in the day. So I do my spiritual work, my energy work at night so I can get the influence of all the stars. But you're taught to be afraid of the dark. Dark, the arc, the arc, huh? The arc, the vibration, the orchestra starts with the arc. Four, right? D is a four. That's art, culture, and freeness. That's the four. That's your foundation. Art is creativity. If you got rid of your creativity, you just read books. You know what I'm saying? And you just, everything they say, you're, oh my God, I've read this book. That was his perception. Mm. That was her perception. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Your own receptiveness, right, comes from deep within. So you might, you know, you have teachers and you, you know, you have these things that you learn. Like I have a lot of students. There's a lot of students in, in all over that, that have studied with, with myself and others. But then you got to take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. So somebody was telling me when they said, well, you know, your boy such and I ain't going to say the name. Your boy such and such the herbalist, man. You know, he's a multimillionaire, man. He was one of your students. He learned everything from you. He didn't learn everything from me. He got some basics and I celebrate him. He's supposed to do better than me. But our perception is that we're competing. Our, perce our perception is all about the money. I do what I love because I love I do what I love because I love it. I'm, I'm pumped up. You see how I am? I'm like this, man. I'm not doing this for you and nobody else. I'm wild. That's how I made records and everything else. I walk in the record company and I tell them what they're going to give me. How do I do it? You create magic. Black magic. The boo. 
when I heard this brother's show was called Black Magic with a K on the end, I said, uh-oh. <laughs> Why he got that K on the end, huh? <laughs> you see? Why does he have that K? And we're going to talk about that later. Because I'm looking at I feel him. Where is that? He's on some other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's from New York. <laughs> You need to understand what the whole York and why they had the whole secret organizations. You said we ain't gonna go there. Breathe, Doctor B. Stay focused. <laughs> we, but we it's, gotta, our, it's, it's our, get, it's, our it's our perception, and your perception has a lot to do with what you feel is true. What you eat creates an environment. People who eat a certain way, they have a certain because they're eating the DNA of an animal. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say this real quick. I got to hit this. Mm. People say, well, Dr. B, where you getting your protein? First of all, do I look like I need any protein? What is protein? Who don't even know what protein is? You know, it, all protein comes from the soil. comes from, you know, plants. That's what protein comes from. The cows mm. eating protein. The gorillas eating protein all day long. What we have to actually re- realize is that our body are juicers. So let's say you like chicken wings and steak and whatever else, turkey legs, all these domesticated animals that somebody made and shot up with all these chemicals and made them grow overnight and glow at night. (laughs) Right? Take it, fill your blender up, get a good blender, pour a little water in there and juice it and turn it into a mulch and pour it through a strainer. And what you have is this juice, which is blood, urine, Lymph, waste, DNA, pus from the animal. Drink that. Or put it on the stove and make a little bone broth. That's the big thing. Bone broth. <laughs> like you really need some more bone material. You know what I'm saying? Your body is a juicer. Everything you put in your body, you're juicing. 80% of your body's energy is what it takes to digest your food. So if you don't, put such dense food in your body, the energy is used for other things like ascension and development and growth and becoming a superconductor. You can't create superconductivity if you're eating these dead animals or dead food or food that's been processed. Food with, this, this, you know, we're going to talk more about the food next week. But once you begin to have a clean way of consumption. Your thoughts begin to change. You can change the way you think. And you can, then you got to get rid of your anger because, you know, once you find out what the world has got going on, you get angry. Some folks stay in anger. Now, anger is a good thing because you, you at least, you know, you woke right now. You angry and woke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you got to move past that. And you have to move into love. Love is life organically vibrating effortlessly once you get in love you're in jazz mode jazz is a nine love is a nine improvise is a nine improvisation is a nine love and jazz well they call it jazz but actually it's you know improvisational music is the most powerful force on the planet your m being m being a a, a, a person that improvises constantly is the most powerful source of energy because that's all nature does. Nature don't strike the same. Lightning never strikes the same in two places. Doesn't even give you the same snowflake, man. See, black uh, magic ain't gonna do the same beat. You know, some people be having all their music. I turned on the radio the other day. It was all every song had the same beat. It was the yeah. same chords. And you know, the, the children was all bobbing their heads. I said, you know, let's put on something else. And they were like, oh god, what is that? I said, this is music that works both sides of your brain. Mm. Can we go back to our station? I said, no, because your station is programming you to be in a loop. And your food and everything creates a loop, a box. It's time to get out of the box. Are y'all ready to get out of the box? This is the time for everybody who's listening right now to change everything. But you got to be ready to let go. Can you let go of all those beliefs? That's belief is be lie. It's a lie. I don't care what it is, who you think you are. You think you black. If you study etymology, you'll find out what do these words really mean? This is English. It's an angle on it. They made this language up. Sometimes silence is the thing to do. Feeling trumps thinking. Mm. Feeling trumps it. What do you feel? You know how you get that gut feeling? I remember I was at Sony Records one day, 
and they was offering us so much money, it was crazy, man. And the artist was all pumped up. And I got this gut feeling. I said, I don't think we should do this contract. Man, they're going to give us a million dollars, man. They were starting to talk about that. This is when they had spinning rims on the car, right? Oh, they, okay. The spinning rims cost $50,000. You stop at the light, they still spinning. You know what I'm saying? And I said, well, um, y'all are all talking about what you're going to buy with this money. We're not talking about a real true goal that you can actually use. And I don't feel like this contract because it says what – in perpetuity too many times. That means forever. They own your likeness. They own your vibration. They own everything. They own the masters. They are your masters. You as a sheep on a farm. They, the group, they decided they was going to fire me as the producer if I didn't sign the contract. My gut said, don't do it. But you know, there was a lot of weed in the air. <laughs> The room was a cloud of weed because the record company kept pumping weed. I think they was pumping weed in through the air conditioning. God damn. Mm. This was Acapulco gold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the real weed. So I signed the contract. Do you know I'm still on that contract? Damn, brother. I ain't, I ain't want to hear was, that. This was in the 80s, bro. Damn. I'm still on it. I can't, certain things I cannot do. Somebody said, well, what's your other name? We can't talk that name because they own it. What's your real name? This is my real name. Not to be serious. <laughs> what I'm saying is, how many contracts have you signed in your life that are in perpetuity? Your beliefs are like contracts. Mm. The way you, you know, I, 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 I got to eat, man. I got to eat. I got to have this. I got to have that. It's a contract. Your relationships are like contracts that you have joined are you ready to break contracts? Because if you don't break the contracts, they're going to be in perpetuity. This is the time between the third and the ninth to break your contracts. Mm. Now, some people say, well, I don't have enough time. I still, I ain't eat all the turkey yet. All right. Well, you got till the ninth of October to get yourself together. Now, some of y'all say, well, Dr. B, I don't know about this because I ain't heard about this. I ain't read about this. What I'm trying to tell you, it ain't written down. A lot of the information was given to me was given to me in sacred secret circles. Mm. And I can't even say it all right here on the air right now. But I will be doing a webinar next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be on your show next week, but also next Saturday I'm going to do, you know, a class. In fact, if you go to my website elevationtime.com, there's part 1 of a series it's called the serious opportunity mm. where I'm talking about what's happening in a more calm collective way giving you more information that's yep. on our website right now but next saturday i'm gonna do part two so the the important point right now is you have to unload the cargo because mm -hmm. most of it's not yours most of what you think what you feel is not yours and break the contracts are you ready to do that? Then you can allow this new information. I can't tell you what it's going to be for you because we're each individuals some of these groups we've been involved in, you know, we followed a group, you know, Harry, we got a stone Harry. Why? Because Harry, you know, Harry, you know, he he ate a chicken wing last week. You know, we got to stone him. Now, you his best friend. They want you to stone him first. Mm -hmm. These groups, man, get you pumped up because it's some kind of tribalism that we get caught up into. And once we become indivisible individuals, you'll step out of that group. Said, no, mm -hmm. I'm not going along with this. You see, because most of the people you meet that you really like, they got the same type story. You meet somebody right at the at the farm and they're in woundology and all they talk about is the struggle and how bad it is and what the man did to them and what their parents did and who attacked them. That's their whole conversation. Now, if you have a conversation that matches that, you pace each other. Right. And now you got a relationship that's based on woundism. woundism. You're wounded. And that's all y'all talk about. Trauma bond. Saying, it's a trauma bond. It's yeah. a ghost. It's a hungry ghost. The average person, this is what one of the Buddhas said, the average person lives in the realm of hungry ghost. Mm. The average person lives in a mindset of ideas that should be dead and buried and gone. Damn. But each day you bring them back alive and feed them. And they're hungry. You can go all the way back 25 years and bring up all the emotions of what happened 25 years ago. Ain't no animal can do this. Do mm. you think the deer is sitting around worried about wolves? The deer is not worried about wolves. Now, if a wolf does pop up, if they sniff a wolf in the air, they stop. 
and they look and they begin to sprint and they begin to jump 15 feet in the air and they're moving. Now you got might have one that's a little weak, you know, he got a bad leg or the baby couldn't keep up with mommy. That's the one the wolf gonna eat. Them other ones are focused on an outcome. They're not worried about the wolf. They are putting all of their energy, being totally creative, improvising in the moment, being a superconductor, putting out all the energy they can to move forward. Once the threat is gone, after 15 minutes, the deer calms down and goes back to doing what it was doing. It's not sitting there having meetings. We got to have a meeting about them wolves tonight. There's <laughs> wolves everywhere. You see what they did to Charlie? You know what they and you know what they did to Bambi's mama? They killed Bambi's mama by the railroad tracks. Ah, ah. You can hear all the bear, all the little, all the deer. Ah, ah. We got to be ready for them. We got to do something. We got to vote. Oh, we got to go march in the dark forest. And have signs up. We hate wolves. We, you know how much energy you're spending doing nothing? The wolves don't care nothing about your little signs. The beings that's controlling this realm like that, they don't, they love that energy. They love you to be disrespectful. And listen, I'm gonna say this really quick because I know we're about to leave. One of the biggest issues we have in the quote conscious, the healing community, the herbal community, the people who's supposed to be the magical ones at this time. I'm going to tell you one of the biggest serious problems we have. <laughs> Separation. We don't like each other. Mm. We're, we're Jesus talking, Christ. Talking shit about each other. Jesus. And most of it is gossip. I heard he was such a... I heard Dr. B was on drugs back in the day. Yeah, I was on them all. Every drug there was. But don't you feel bad about that? No, I feel good. I learned a lot. <laughs> now my new thing is herbs. So you want to look at what somebody did in the past because you don't know how to forgive. Mm. And forgiveness is one of the most powerful things you can have. Gratitude. And let me tell you, be grateful in advance. Don't do a begging prayer where you're praying or meditating to, to do something in the future. What you do is be thankful for it now. I am grateful for my body healing. I'm grateful for allowing this serious energy to move through me. I'm grateful to be renewing my new DNA and becoming a superconductor. I'm grateful for the universe changing right now. And the pillars are falling. The leaders are falling. You see him in the news. You know, you done heard it and did. What did he do? Mm -hmm. you, this, it was all hidden like the man behind the curtain in Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. So the point here is <clears throat> let's forget about the wolves for a minute and the evil mm -hmm. and turn that into live. Mm -hmm. Focus on breathing deeply. Allow the emotion to go through. You are a crystal. This is everyone. You're a crystal. Crystals are programmable once they're clear. Now the colored stones are not so programmable. But they already got a, a, a information in them. But the clear stones like quartz are programmable. Your body is like a crystal. You know, and one thing, Dick Gregory said, you know, we need something that's going to help people's crystals in the body. Mm -hmm. So Dick Gregory and I created this product, and it's called Platinum Life Elixir. What it does is it repairs the telomeres, right, which are, you know, holding your DNA together. It helps you live longer. It helps get rid of the heavy metals. But it bec you become a living crystal. You don't even have to use crystals. You become the crystal. Watch the movie Dark Crystal. That's a deep one right there, man. Dark Crystal. But we are putting ourselves back together. And also be ready to detoxify. That's why we have the 28-day cleanse, you know what I'm saying? It's called the Elevated Total Body Program at the website. So you can get rid of the super bugs. What's, the, web is What's the website again? I'm sorry, brother. I want to put it in the chat. What's the website? ElevationTime.com. That's elevation time. Elevation time. All right, got it. Now, when you detox at this deep level, not just from parasites, but from all kinds of toxicity, from vibrations, because we're using crystals, we're using sound vibrations, we're using very rare herbs and very rare elements to rejuvenate the body, not just cleanse, because you can't just cleanse. 
people are talking about we just gotta I'm cleansing, I'm cleansing, I'm cleansing. You can't, it's this cleansing is washing away some of the good stuff. You've got to rejuvenate. So we're doing both at the same time. And we're doing it very gently using herbs called adaptogens. There's a lot of good herbs out there, but a lot of herbs are toxic at a certain level. But adaptogens or tonics are herbs that are listening to the vibration of your cells and only tonifying or what they call uh, uh, intonating each organ or each cell. And they adapt to your body. It's a very special group of herbs that I use, adaptogens. That way we don't have to worry about, you know, whether somebody's going to have a reaction. They adapt. But when you detoxify for at least 28 days, and it has to be a, a circadian rhythm. It has to be a, a 28-day move, <clears throat> a month, a move. That's when your body goes through the healing. It takes three moon cycles, three moons, for you to get all the way into the intracellular fluid, down into the DNA and down to the mitochondria of your cells. Three months. Mm. So we don't have this, pro pro you know, this, this, this product called the Elevated Total Body Program. And it, we made it especially for this time. We, we, you know, my herbs always change. You never make the same formulation. Mm, excellent. We never make this. I've got to make it based on what's happening when I've done my consideration. And I've they, they talk to me. They will talk about them later, too. You know, and, it's funny. Real quick, let me just say this. It's funny you say that sometimes uh, in the past, if I use the same herb over and over again, it's, it loses its effectiveness. It's something about just using the same thing over and over, face cream or whatever. If you use it too much, it's not as effective as it was the first couple of times you used it. That's because your body gets used to that rhythm. Mm. That's the hypnotic rhythm. That's why you can't do the same meditation, yeah. the same poses, the yeah. same talk, the same <clears> song. <throat> it's a loop. Everything on the planet is changing, and we're in this thing called the quickening. So the, the the what you call atoms, actually, there's no such thing as atoms, by the way, but what you call atoms or the subatomic particles, the neutrinos, all these things are changing because we're in a different place in space than we were before. Nothing is the same except your mindset. And let me tell you, some people say, well, you know, uh, things are falling right now. We're all falling. Do you know the earth is falling into the sun every day? But when it gets there, the sun has moved. You've got to let it all fall down. You see, you've got to drop everything right now if you would like to ride this wave. This wave is a wave that's been coming. It's been promised. This is the promised land. It's in you. It's not about what's going out there. The enemy is what's going on in you. You can go to a place and become cloaked. I remember I was in Detroit and I wanted to walk to Motown from the hotel. And the people said, no, man, you can't go, man. This is Detroit, man. Man, you know how dangerous it is. You, I said, man, you know where I'm from? I don't have any fear. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know, I got divine intelligence riding with me. The real gangsters. Mm -hmm. huh? Spiritual gangsters. Mm -hmm. And I walked down the street. And everybody <laughs> on that street. Just looking like, whoa, this guy's just walking down the street. And they could tell I wasn't from there because I ain't had that Detroit walk. Mm. You know, they know you're in New York, right? You're in Brooklyn. There's a walk. There's a talk in each mm. borough, each neighborhood around mm. the world. There's a vibration with each person that's from there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I saw these brothers at the liquor store. And they're like, man, what, man what's going on, bro? Where are you from? I said, man, I'm from, pointed up. Man, you must be, man. You know what can happen to you? I says, what well, ain't happening. I sat and talked with them brothers for two hours in front of the liquor store. Then I walked down the street to Motown and walked back mm. because I was cloaked. Once you become a superconductor, you can become cloaked, but you got to learn how to be silent. You got to have a certain way of breathing. It's a certain rhythm. You see what I'm saying? There's a certain thing. But what happens is when we get into comp competition, you can't be invisible. Because you're talking too much about something you don't know about. This thing about us in the community talking about each other with gossip about what he did and whose herbs don't work and whose yoga is better than such and such in yoga. And this is the original that. That's the problem. That is the program. That's what keeps us separate instead of being in oneness. I respect everybody and what they're doing. We're all, we're all good. Each person you talk to has their own type of diversity. They do something special. No one can do what you do. 
And once you get out of competition, you get into creativity. Once you create this vortex and you're focused on no matter what storm comes ahead, you're sitting there focused on the outcome. As the captain of the ship, you need to know there's a storm coming, right? Are you going to go through the storm, around the storm, or drop the sails and float with what? The current. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to drop the sails and stop going to war. And when you become really successful, this is when they start talking that talk about you. Everybody got some talk. People think they know me. Well, we know Dr. B and see Dr. B. I says, listen, I come with love. I respect what everybody's doing. I respect you for being angry. That's your job to be angry and be upset. Yep. And if you're supposed to be conscious <clears throat> and you're angry all the time, you're conscious of being angry. If you're conscious of being in loving and caring and realizing that you're not about the title. Yeah, I think I... it's not about your title anymore. Not anymore. Let me tell you about this brother, Rich. Let me tell you about this brother. I've only known about this brother really for a couple weeks. Somebody called me and they said, man, Dr. B, man, you about to be on Brother Rich's show. Cause call came from California. I said, really, who is Brother Rich? Oh, you got the, <laughs> man, Brother Rich, man. Who? he's rich. I said, he's rich, he's wealthy. This brother right here, he's, he's really on it because he lets you expose, right, what you're attempting to say. He guides you, he helps you. Mm -hmm. He's on it, he's open. So I said, okay. Then Blue Pill calls me. B, B, now Blue Pill call. I know it's about something. He usually called me, asked me to do a lecture. I said no, because I, I was told to be quiet for a while, so I couldn't speak. You mm -hmm. know, I can only do little small things. And mm -hmm. he called me this day at a certain time. I looked at the clock. I looked at the phone. It's a New York phone number. I picked it up. Yo, brother, peace. Mm -hmm. He said, man, listen. He had a certain voice, different voice. <laughs> Would you like to be on Brother Rich's show? I said, Brother Rich. Yeah, Black Magic, such and such. He's such and such and such. I said, sure. Tell me more about it. Well, such and such. He saw you. We was on Stone Mountain. And I showed him a little, little thing you did at Tassili's. And such and such. And you got to do this. So I'm can, can, is it okay if he calls? So then you called me. Mm. The first thing the brother did was took a breath. And he spoke. And he was on even keel. He was being the captain of his ship. And then I realized he's a superconductor. Mm. This brother is one of what they call the noble gases. Mm. I'm doing a commercial for you right now. Oh, shit. I appreciate it. You look on the periodic table. I know you're about to end the show, but you're going to get this commercial. Uh, uh, take your time, brother. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> so you look on the periodic, periodic table. Yeah. And on the you got all these elements, which in the numbers are based on light, how much light they have, how dense they are. But on the right side, you got what's called the noble gases. The noble gases are not solid, you know, particles. They're gases. A gas moves out exponentially. A gas can move under the door, right? It can it just moves. It, 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 you can put it in a jar, but as soon as you open the jar, it comes out. Mm. The noble gases, right, are beings that come from a place. They, they kept talking about certain planets. I guess a gas giant. There's nothing could live there. Nothing made out of solid material. But there are beings that come from gas. So if you look at the gases in the noble gases and look them up and look at their, their personality. Certain people are noble gases. A gas cannot stick to something solid hmm. unless you do some electrolysis. So like chlorine. Chlorine, the only way it can stick to water is they have to charge it. They have to reverse the charge and cause the, the chlorine right molecule to stick to water. Hmm. But of course, if you, if you put copper and zinc in that water, all of a sudden, it spins off, and the, the chlorine spins off into the air. Mm. Copper and zinc, because they're both electrical. They make a battery. Mm. Your body is copper and zinc and many other, uh, many other things. But what the brother did was he took this breath, <sighs> Dr. B, and he began to speak, and he was very mellow. And he had this whole vibration, and he was open. So I said, okay. Then we started talking about music, the universal language. 
He talked about a few projects. I talked about a few projects that I've done and what I'd like to do. And we decided to join forces on some things. <clears throat> That's the connection. This is music. He's a musician, y'all. He's a producer. So he can allow you to explain yourself because he's like the band who brings out the soloist. Yes, sir. He creates the sound bed. I know who he is. <laughs> yeah, you, you got it. I, I don't have to hear his music. I hear his rhythm. Yeah. He's not caught up in trying to push his ideas and ideals on you. He's asking questions. So when, we, when we're the band as jazz musicians, whoever's soloing, we sit there and just play along with him and open a space. Open up a vortex for whoever is speaking with respect. So I would like to thank you, brother. And let me tell you this, too. <clears throat> For those of you who would like to go to the website, Elevation Time, and if you'd like to invest in yourself or if you'd like to donate to what we're doing and pick up any of the products like the Elevated Total Body Program or the, you know, uh, Platinum Life, the, the Gregory Reserve. Uh, there's one, too, right here. I need to talk about this real quick. This is the Master Time. Yeah. This, this is what yeah. I take. So we're going to yeah. leave that alone. Look, Dr. B, Let's real talk. quick. Dr. B, real quick. I think they crashed your website. I think everybody's on your website right now. You can't crash my website. Dial it in again. It's not. Uh, it's not loaded. And people said it in the chat. I swear, there's probably like three thousand people trying to dial in your website at the same time right now, bro. Well, look, you may have to wait till a little later. Be patient. Yeah. We'll get the website back up. No, I'm. I'm just letting you know you're gonna have a rush of orders, brother. Listen, you use, gonna... <laughs> if you're gonna do this, use the discount code. Serious, <laughs> you get ten percent off. That's only until Sunday. Okay, excellent. And we'll have a different different one for next week. But the Master Tonic. The Master Tonic is all these different resins from around the world, mm -hmm. and this one creates a force field around you. Nothing can touch you. Mm -hmm. It's called the Dr. B Serious Master Tonic. That's what I take every day. There's only a few of them. I don't, I don't make a lot of them. It's a very limited supply because some of the things that we use, we can't always get. So the main thing, I just want to just, just reiterate, silence is golden. Mm -hmm. Drink real water. Real spring water. Right now ain't the time for alkaline water. I'm telling you. So right now, find some spring water in some glass. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Also, get into consideration. Allow yourself to let the light of the stars touch you without thinking. Just allow the energy within you to grow. Stop limiting yourself and stop talking the disagreeable talk about yourself, about what you can't do, what you can't, what's impossible. <coughs> Excuse me. Everything is possible when you make it impossible. Be ready to improvise in the moment. And when you cleanse and detoxify your body the way I'm talking about, energetically, mentally, physically, and spiritually, from mental parasites, physical parasites, and, and what they call cosmic parasites, you open up. And you become a time traveler. You are the vortex. It ain't about ascension. You are in whatever whatever dimension you'd like to be in, you're creating. Mm -hmm. It's in you. It's, you are the universe. You are the universe. It's in your cells. It's in your very being. Become a superconductor. Watch what you're saying. Let go of the old world. Get the cargo off your boat because you will sink you will not have a chance like this again. So between mm. now mm. and August the 8th, they're closing down the <clears throat> camp. When I say they, I ain't talking about some humans either. They're shutting it down. But they can't see you when you cloak yourself by being in what they call a flow state. You're in this beautiful place. You're breathing. Let the news go. You don't care what they're doing. It's none of your business. Mind your business. Stop gossiping. Stay focused, and you will become rich with the black magic. You are the magi. Be it. Mm. That was powerful. I mean, this was, oh, man, this is like, this might be the, the best show all year on my channel. God damn, this was some powerful-ish right here. Woo, man, I'm, I told you, before the show, I said, after the show, I'm going to go meditate, man. I might meditate for like three hours tonight, man. I'm going to be, I'm high, right? You got me high right now without the drugs, man. Yeah, man, this is this is wonderful, brother. Um, everybody, make sure y'all hit up his website. Um, it is elevationtime.com. 
if it don't load now, keep going back to it. But I'm, <coughs> man, the brother, I'm sure to, I'm, I'm I'm gonna be first in line to try some of this brother's products, uh, family. And don't forget, he's also coming back next week. We're gonna do a part two. It's gonna be even more powerful. And the brother also has um. How can they um catch that webinar you got this weekend? How can they catch that? Well, there's one right now that's already pre-recorded that I did last week, mm -hmm. and it's called the Serious Opportunity. Mm -hmm. That one's up. It's a class. It's not a webinar. It's a class. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to be on the next one, get on our email list. So go to the website, you know, and go over on the right hand side. You'll see where it says join the email list or get the newsletter. Join that because I'm I'm, I'm putting out all kinds of pop up information. We're doing special things that we, we, we you just have to be ready. You don't have to get ready when you're ready. So we're going to be doing that. We also have some musical events coming up. I'll be teaching a course on uh, metaphysical music. That's coming up too. So all these courses are coming up. I'll also be teaching metaphysical herbalism. It's a whole different type of herbalism, y'all. It's not the normal, mm. oh boy, this herb does that. It's a whole other thing that I was taught that actually makes the tonics and things work much better for each individual person. So there's a lot of things happening. Elevationtime.com. If, if the site is down right now, don't worry. It's going to come back. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It'll be up tonight, tomorrow. Be patient. And always have patience. Be grateful in advance. Be grateful. If you'd like the big house, say, I am grateful for the big house. Who are you talking to? Yourself. You, the boo. The black original. That's you, boo. Right? You are the one you've been looking for. Like the alchemist, right? He traveled through all the world to get to himself. Those beings that were attempting to keep you from yourself are dying. Mm. They're dying. You could tell they're dying. They're desperate because they, they, if, if you evolve the way you're supposed to, they can't keep you on the farm anymore. The gate is wide open. We have never, ever been here for, before. So we need to celebrate. And let me break down celebration is when you vibrate your cells and give thanks for what you have, no matter what it is. Because what you've been through is all a part of the lesson of getting to where you're going. We are ninjas, and we are on an obstacle course to make ourselves better. And things get better through pressure. So if you're still here, you're still breathing, you got this. Know it. Stop listening to folks. Tell them to shut up. Remember Dick Gregory used to say that? He used to tell folks to shut up. Man. Shut up. <laughs> Even your own self, you're talking, thinking too much. This is not about thinking. It's about getting into your heart, feeling that gut, and breathing. And let's make love out of all the things that are not love. Wow. That's how we elevate. By making love, creating love. Take the things that are opposite of love and turn them into love. Brother, I love you. I love your the, 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 whatever that picture is. I can't I, I can't look at you too much, man, because you're taking me into a vortex. Man, I see what you're doing. See, he's got the sons of sons within the sons in the picture. So oh, thank man. you very much, and uh, all of you out there. You know, this is your time. Take it, own it. I told y'all this was it. I warned y'all. I told y'all about this, brother. Listen, this is an important time in history. This show right now. Is 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 something that uh, I don't even know what words can explain how important this show is. I want to thank the brother Blue Pill for my heart for connecting me with Dr. B Serious. Blue Pill has played a very instrumental role in introducing me and connecting me with a lot of the speakers on the channel. So blessings upon blessings to that brother. And um, I just look forward to part two next week. We're gonna to continue to do it. The time is now. We got now. We got now. We got now, family. So do what y'all gotta do, family. Watch this again and again, family. On that note, we get out of here. I'll see y'all next week. All right. Peace. Travel light. Yes.